Yeah, Sandeep is there. So I want Sandeep. Sandeep. Uh, yes, sir. Go ahead. Uh, good afternoon to all. Uh, thanks a lot for giving me this opportunity. Uh, yeah, I really appreciate uh, Dr. Gupta's uh, effort uh, to set up the amateur radio clubs in within uh, governmental establishment premises. Of course, uh, there may be some confusion or contradiction about it. De uh, definitely, the contradiction is that uh, amateur radio is a hobby, and uh, when uh, we go for setting up, we have the experience actually. So if it is fully governmentalized, uh, so institu institutionalized, uh, then uh, it becomes some kind of like uh, governmental communication system, but ham radio is not that. So that contradiction is already there. So my take on this is that uh, these clubs, of course, uh, they, if, if we look in a positive way, these clubs should be actually not uh, maybe a part of the emergency operation center, but they should be actually resource come uh, felicitation center, resource come felici felicitation center where the local hams and the local hams who might not have the resources or access to radio uh, communication equipment. So uh, they can actually come to those clubs because uh, those IS officials or IPS officials uh, they would not uh, be able to devote their time, even if uh, having a license, radio communication license, would not be able to devote his or her time uh, to those systems. So these clubs actually should be fully functional uh, throughout the year, day in, day out, 24 into 7, uh, which can be voluntarily manned by uh, the local radio amateurs in those district uh, headquarters. So that would be a very positive effort, I think, uh, because uh, the local students, even the engineering students, uh, if we make those clubs uh, as a resource come felicitation center with libraries of uh, books, or technical books, and communication equipments, so uh, we can make it very popular among the local people, actually. So in this, uh, in that, uh, if we look in that direction, then uh, Dr. Uh, Gupta's idea is definitely, I appreciate that idea. And yeah, he is right. Uh, it's a peanut for the government to invest some little amount of money. And we know uh, uh, so far as the resource and money is concerned, we are not like the developed countries like in US, uh, American re Radio Real League is uh, working like a governmental organization. It's not like an NGO. It's a full-fledged uh, uh, organization not, uh, because Amateur Radio Society of India has the resource crunch, they don't have enough money uh, to actually uh, uh, to uh, make it like the ARRL. So that, that is a practical problem that we have uh, in countries like India. So with that, uh, I would like uh, to appreciate Dr. Kailas Gupta's effort and definitely my support will be there at what level I can uh, do. Uh, of course, it should be a hobby, educational do-it-yourself activity. Uh, not only emphasizing on only emergency operation, it is not our intention. It is to train the people, students, uh, for technical experimentation. So thank you very much. Uh, 73, this is a victory from the Mike Uniform Echo. Uh, Shankar, can you request, uh, uh, can you allow Professor Gulchandani also to speak a few words, if you may like? He's there uh, on the... Certainly, certainly. Mr. Gulchandani, you're there? Yeah, sir. Good evening. Yes, go ahead, Ramesh. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. You are yeah, yeah. Good evening, uh, uh, Shankar. Good evening, the whole team. And uh, good evening to Dr. Shairash Gupta and also Sandeep Barua and also Mr. Uh, Dharmendar Bulchandani. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> so I think the question asked uh, by one of the audience, uh, I think he meant some data network. <clears throat> uh, so what kind of data network he means, I'm not very sure. But uh, yes, we have a dedicated group called Amateur Radio Emergency Communication, which is uh, a, a, you know, a, a body under Amateur Radio Society of India, uh, which has been formed about uh, two years back. This was formed following the general body meeting of the 2019. And uh, well, there, are, there has been not too many activities under this, except for a couple of discussions. Of course, initially there was a national coordinator followed by the current coordinator Subhash Babu, <clears throat> and uh, what uh, just like what uh, uh, you know, Mr. Kailash Gupta, Dr. Kailash Gupta mentioned, 
uh, we are uh, trying to regroup people uh, you know following our uh, next meets uh, next uh, next week's uh, committee meeting and give some life uh, to this and uh, as i mentioned earlier yesterday uh, during my session that uh, uh, you know a lot of uh, such emergency communication the people are the hams are plunging into activity uh, immediately uh, you know following uh, uh, any call for such a communication requirement uh, this is mostly being done by the local clubs like the kerala hams uh, you know immediately responded to the call uh, during the you know severe rain a couple of years back uh, similarly in tamil nadu also and also in the north northeastern region and uh, uh, you know very uh, regularly we are having uh, cyclone and uh, uh, you know heavy rainfall affected areas along the coast of andhra pradesh and telangana <laughs> which the local hams are uh, you know actively taking part the idea under the arec which is a wing of uh, amateur radio society of india is to bring about uh, bring all these uh, local clubs under one banner and coordinate with the governmental agencies uh, you know to set up uh, stations or when when such a disaster occurs so such a calamity occurs <laughs> uh, you know we wish the government uh, uh, you know looks out for a single agency to respond which can in turn uh, you know activate the regional bodies and uh, who who would be trained you know trained uh, trained hams uh, with the necessary equipment and grab kits yeah um, yeah and then is for the if the invest equipment is there are they i mean uh, to the limited purpose that you know security etc is maintained only the operator only license operators will be allowed to operate i gave the analogy of fire hydrant system in cities where uh, hydrant is are not there all around throughout the city but we citizen don't fiddle with that when fire if fire is there firemen go there and they operate same same is the suggestion yes 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 okay. i agree with you dr kailash i certainly agree with you in fact uh, our local club uh, though i am involved with uh, arsi from 2008 i have been part and parcel of the local club bangalore amateur radio club from uh, 1994 uh, where still today till today we are struggling to have a permanent station permanent location where we can meet every month we meet uh, under the uh, the head of the bar scouts and guides but still we do not have a permanent club station uh, so certainly these ideas are welcome and how we implement it and how we ask the government <laughs> uh you know is is also very important uh, dr kailash thank certainly, you very much certainly certainly uh, ramesh arsi absolutely in bangalore doing a pioneering work and dr kailash gupta ji uh, after looking at your presentation we are uh, very impressed with uh, the whole thing as ramesh said uh, will certainly there are many areas that we should uh, all work together and uh, make it uh, happen and uh, lobby the government and wpc Uh, to come up with a policy that would help us what we will yeah, do yeah. is uh, we will certainly keep this uh, discussion going as with any other uh, uh, thing that we had today yeah yeah because as uh, you know sandeep barawa says it you know 50 crores for the government of india to fund uh, ham radio stations is is a peanuts and certainly they should do it under any head whether they do it under the disaster management head or Uh, you know youth uh, uh, youth are in the cultural you know whatever there are many ministries what we are which under which heading they do it is uh, you know it's immaterial but but definitely ham radio the the development of ham radio in in a country is directly proportional to the development of the uh, technical temperament uh, you know which which you see in a small country like japan we have 1 million hams uh, active hams unlike unlike india we have hotel whiskey is also there hotel whiskey quickly can you go ahead anyone hotel whiskey yeah good evening i i mean i i know the time is running short a very short instance uh, to add on and uh, sandeep must be aware of it we have done such program in association with delhi civil defense and the district magistrate involved with the is the uh, delhi police Uh, Delhi fire station. It is not in uh, 2009. It is very recently. I think 2018. 2019. 2019. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, Delhi police uh, wireless communication, the satellite communication, the uh, Delhi fire wireless system, and ham radio all were there uh, working simultaneously. And we did a like a full day project for that. 
and it was much more appreciated that the among all the four communication only the ham radio operators were able to do the communication frequently and most reliable communication was uh, given to ham radio Absolutely. we have a certificate for that i know i know and uh, and sandeep was also a part of that if sandeep was there mm. i remember that mm. so See, i would like to uh, i would like to just uh, give, give means my feedback on this is that uh, i was at this district uh, rajni so yeah. the is official he was very impressed by uh, my communication and you were at the police headquarter i think the main control room so uh, his uh, impression was very good but his idea about ham radio was he was totally ignored he said okay we'll buy these ham radios and tomorrow we'll set up so uh, i had to explain a lot to him so it happens like that okay, okay no problem we have the money we'll buy the ham radio <laughs> and from tomorrow we'll do it. so anyway, it was yeah, that's point. right i think kuldeep is trying quite hard i want to somehow give him a chance kuldeep bharadwaj can you go ahead kuldeep bharadwaj you have been raising hand please unmute please unmute and speak please please unmute kuldeep bharadwaj you do not remember is ki you are not uh, you have not unmuted the kuldeep ji unmute your microphone yeah kuldeep ji please unmute okay anyway i am sure uh, we will have uh, many more occasions like this uh, uh, to both of you and uh, dr kailash ji and uh, really thankful uh, that you reached out to us and spoke to us and uh, wanted to make this presentation and we thought it's a social issue very much required we really appreciate uh, your uh, uh, concern and your uh, work uh, that you have been doing so thanks you thank you very much sir i really appreciate you and uh, certainly uh, there will be occasions for us to work together arsi is already there and there are at the local level many organizations are working not only in india sorry uh, in bangalore mysore or in delhi it could be in tamil nadu it could be in maharashtra it could be in gujarat the lot of uh, clubs i know in calcutta and orissa or work andhra pradesh who are working uh, pretty heavily on this uh, segment we will try and gather all of them and see to it uh, that we will uh, take this forward if possible not able to unmute is what kuldeep says anyway uh, thanks very much i'm sure uh, you will have another occasion on your whatsapp or telegram group i can i'm sure you can talk to uh, dr kailash ji and uh, the other clubs and get to know more about it. thank you so on behalf of the organizing committee of the hamfest india uh, 2021 i really thank uh, uh, dr kailash uh, gupta and dr sandeep uh, for having come and uh, uh, the, uh, the other ham for having come and uh, given us a talk on a very very important uh, aspect of uh, amateur radio of social concern so thank you very much sir on all of our behalf we will take this forward certainly offline there will be many more interactions between us and uh, we uh, hope uh, you will uh, uh, talk to all the clubs across the country bring them all together on a common platform and take this forward